everybody. David here with my homage to Mazzy and a video I'm going to call Fumbling for a Film. Mazzy made a video today where he pulled five Blu-rays and DVDs from his uh, movie collection and shared them and talked about them um, all the whack-a-mole style. And I uh, saw where Rachel, the uh, music ma'am, also made a video. So I wanted to jump on board and uh, pull five from my collection and just talk about them. So I'm on my knees because I couldn't stand up because I couldn't get the TV and the shot comfortably. So behind me here, I've got two drawers that have um, Blu-rays in them. Uh, top drawer is generally horror movies and the bottom drawer is anything non-horror related. And then behind me, I have a cabinet that's got some uh, DVDs. So I'll pull two from the horror, two from the non-horror, and then a DVD. I'm sorry, Blu-ray. No, DVD, yeah. All right, so uh, bear with me. So in the top drawer, horror. Uh, this is hard to my knees, I'm getting old. All right, so let's see here. One. Non-horror, let's see what we got. Eh. Okay. And then I'll pull the DVD. Not a DVD, but it'll work. All right, so I have five films here. Uh, first up, we have Young Guns. This was one of my favorite movies as a teenager. Um, I'm usually not a fan of Westerns, but I really enjoyed Emilio Estevez as Billy the Kid. Um, it's got Keith Sutherland in it. This came out probably after Flatliners and Lost Boys, so I was a big Keith Sutherland fan. You got Ludaman Phillips, uh, Charlie Sheen. Excellent movie. Um, I was a fan of both the movies. I really liked the soundtrack to part two and would hope to get it on uh, vinyl one day. It's Bon Jovi and good stuff. Uh, next we have Noel Gallagher's High Flying Birds. Live at the O2. This is a, a live performance of his first solo album. Um, I'm a big fan of that first album, and so it was good seeing him out and performing live again. Uh, excellent stuff from Noel Gallagher. Uh, next, we have Alien Covenant. Uh, this was the most recent film in the Alien canon. Um, outside of the first Alien movie, I'm not really a big fan of the whole Alien series. Um, you know, I, I went ahead and bought this because I already had the other Alien films. So the completionist wanted me to get this. Not a bad movie, but it's nowhere near as good as the original Alien movie. <sighs> All right. Brandon Lee in The Crow, another great movie. Uh, this came out when I was, I wanna say in high school, or maybe just before I started high school. Uh, I remember seeing it in theaters with my cousin. I uh, really enjoyed the movie. Uh, there was, you know, all the talk about how Brandon Lee uh, was killed uh, accidentally uh, on the set of the movie. So that was kind of some of the intrigue in seeing this movie in, in the theaters. Um, this has another great soundtrack to it. Uh, it was released last year on Record Store Day. I had it in my hands, put it back, and I have regretted it ever since. The Crow. And then lastly, speaking of Kiefer Sutherland, 
This is the remake to Flatliners. Um, it's got a lot of actresses and actors I don't really know. I know one of the actresses was big on the uh, CW in the Vampire Diaries. Um, not a terrible remake, but not one of my favorites either. Uh, there is a cameo from Kiefer Sutherland in the movie. He plays like one of the uh, professors in the film. Um, again, not one of my favorites, but uh, I was a big fan of the original, so I want to give, give this one a try. So, Flatliners. Not a very fun batch of movies. Uh, they are in my collection, and this was random. So, Mazzy, hope you enjoyed this video. This was an homage to you. I've really appreciated all that you've been putting out uh, in the past few days, just kind of as a distraction with all that's going on uh, with the coronavirus and everyone being self-quarantined. Uh, uh, hope you're doing well and hope everyone else in the VC is doing well also. Uh, that's gonna do it for this video. And until next time, take care. Thanks.